Hi, you are watching Crafty Friday on So Craftastic. In today's video, I'm going to teach you how to make a dream catcher. Many people believe that if you hang one over your bed, they trap the nightmares and let the good dreams through. Plus, they make beautiful room decor, so why not? Also, before we get into this video, you guys know that winter and the holidays are coming up very soon. So if there are any specific DIYs that you want me to do, then just leave your requests in the comment section below. Now let's get started. For your dream catcher, you can use pretty much any type of string or leather cord. And to decorate, you can use chain, ribbons, rickrack, beads, charms, feathers, anything that you want. One of the most essential parts of this project is to have a hoop. So I'm going to use this embroidery hoop that I got from Michael's Craft Store. If you don't have one of these, you can of course make one on your own out of wire or get creative and cut a thin piece of a cardboard tube, use an old bracelet. No matter what you use for your hoop, the next step is to wrap it with string. I'm using this black cord and some strong glue. If you don't want to use glue, you can of course use knots to secure it. This part is going to take quite a while and the thinner the string, the longer it's going to take. But it's very simple. All you're going to do is wrap, wrap, wrap and every once in a while add glue to help secure it. And then once you get to the very end, of course, secure that with glue and cut. Once your hoop is completely wrapped, it's time to start forming the beautiful web-like pattern on the inside. For this, I'm going to take some embroidery floss and I'm just going to tie a knot. Once that's attached to the hoop, just trim the short end and then take the long end and you're going to take that bunch of string, put it over the hoop to the outside and then you're going to bring it up through the bottom. As you can see, again, I'm putting the string to the outside and bringing it underneath and up through the middle. I'm going to do this all around the outside of the hoop and keep in mind that if you want it to look quote unquote perfect, you'll want to use a ruler to measure how far apart each loop is. Make sure that when you're doing this, you pull really tightly. You want to have a firm base on this weaving. Mine are about two inches apart. I had to redo this step just because I didn't like the way it looked, but don't worry about that. So once all of the loops are formed around the hoop, it's time to move on to the second layer. So in this part, you're going to treat the string as if it were the hoop in the first step. So you're going to put the bunch of string over that first stitch that you made and then pull it under and up through. You're going to continue doing the exact same step all the way to the middle of this dream catcher until you can't wrap it anymore. If you want, you can add some beads to the end of your string and it's helpful to apply nail polish. So just slide the bead on over before you make a stitch and you can alternate that pattern. You can do it on the whole dream catcher if you want, but it will be a little bit more time consuming. And once you get to the very middle, go ahead and tie a couple knots and cut. 
Now I'm going to decorate the bottom of my hoop with all sorts of fun materials. Here I'm using rickrack. I folded it in half and I'm just going to place it underneath the hoop, bring that up, and then you're going to pull the two ends through and that will secure it to your hoop. I'm doing the same thing with chain, just pulling the ends through the loop to secure it to the hoop. And I do switch it up sometimes and just tie knots like you see here. You'll probably want to be able to hang up your dream catcher somewhere. So here I am making a loop. Just tie a few knots in some string, then just attach that loop to the top of the dream catcher. And no dream catcher is complete without a feather or a few. Well, at least I think so. So here we have some fake feathers and I'm using wire to make a little loop and then wrap it around them. Then I'm going to take a jump ring and just open it up, place the jump ring through the loop on the feathers and then place the other end of it through the chain on the dream catcher and close it with some pliers. Continue to add string and yarn and feathers until your heart's content and then you have a beautiful dream catcher. Now you should start to have more and more sweet dreams and less of those nasty nightmares. Hang it up over your bed and think positive thoughts. If you end up making your own dream catcher, I would love to see. There are so many possibilities and I know you guys are super creative. So just use hashtag SoCraftastic on your photo on Instagram and I will check it out. I really hope you guys enjoyed this tutorial. I am so happy with the way my dream catcher turned out and I've been wanting to make one for such a long time. Actually when I was in Girl Scouts when I was a little kid, I made a really uh, basic looking dream catcher out of like popsicle sticks and yarn. I don't have a picture right now but maybe in a future video I can show you. I'll ask my mom to take a picture for me. But anyway, if you guys are new to my channel, I want you all to know that I put up a new DIY every single Friday and it's called Crafty Friday of course. So last week I showed my viewers how to make a yarn hat. Really easy, really fun, and really cozy. Here are all the photos that were submitted to me via Instagram using hashtag SoCraftastic and I also get submissions on Twitter and my Facebook fan page as well. Thank you guys so much for sending photos of your hats, they all look really great and I hope you guys have a great rest of the day. Be sure to check out all of my links in the description box below. Did you guys know that I have a Pinterest? If not, that link is in the description box below as well. I hope you guys have a great rest of the day and I'll see you in my next video. Bye! In today's video, in today's video, hoo hoo, today's video, blah blah, no, a dream catcher. Then I was up pointing at it. Plus, they make really beautiful dream de dream decor. Trap the night, the little, oops. <laughs> Tutorial DIYs, oh, uh, video, blah, blah, blah. video requests, blah blah blah. blah. <laughs> Feathers in my hair, feathers everywhere. Bye, bye, bye. Bye, bye, bye.